What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dog, and I'm back with another video. Man, y'all can tell by the title what's going on. But I want to give a special shout out, man, to Long Mountain Trucks. Lisa, man, if you need the truck, hit up Long Mountain. They're going to do you good. Tell them Zeke Dog sent you. But uh, they got your boy Zeke Dog, man. They got your boy Zeke Dog. I'm going uh, I'm going to go straight to the clip and show y'all exactly what happened and where we're going from here. Uh, what's been done, um, updates, things like that, but they just don't make it easy on your boy Zeke, dog. What's up, doll team? So, as y'all can see in the title of the video, 
They got your boy Z Dog. So uh, I actually was taking a couple days off from recording, and uh, after I had wrapped up the last load, it got delivered. They they took it with some incentive, but they took it and uh, went on home. And I ran a couple loads, and uh, in the current timeline, I got the uh, mats coming up in a couple days. So I'm just running a couple loads around the region and I'm east, let's see, not east, I'm west. I'm west of St. Louis on 44 at a Flying J, maybe about 45 minutes west of St. Louis. And I've been parked here since like five o'clock this afternoon. Got good timing, good rest, I'm, I'm chilling. So laying in the bed and uh, I was waiting to take my shower because I like to take my shower a little bit later like right before I go to bed if possible but if I need to take it early I'm going to take it early with that being said I'm laying in the bunk and all of a sudden I feel and hear my truck it's like a flu I'm like no I know I ain't just get hit that's going in my head I know I ain't just get hit what happened? I got hit. Uh, I got out. I, I talked to the guy. He uh, he was like, "Man, I'm sorry." I'm like, "Ain't nothing we can do about it now, man." Uh, you know, it, it's cool. I mean, I ain't like just mad at you or nothing. So let's just exchange information. I'm gonna call Landstar. Do what I gotta do on that to make sure I got everything I need reported to them. <clears throat> And we'll just go from there, man. But, you know, it, it wasn't no hard feeling. I ain't want to put him on camera and, and run up in his face with a camera. Nah, I ain't, it wasn't all that. Y'all saw what happened. Uh, he Now, he had plenty of room. He he pulled out there. It was a ton of room. He just let his blind side get away from him. So, I'm going to show y'all... Uh, the the damage to the side of the truck. It ain't gonna stop the truck from going and making money, but it's gonna stop it from making money when it go in the shop because that may be you know a week out of my time to uh, to get it fixed. This is the uh hopefully hopefully this is the extent of the damage but uh they gotta take a lot of stuff off to get to get here you know, this, on both this and this is welded in so they gotta take out all, all these little tech uh tack wheels to get this piece out and then re replace it. I mean, really, I wish they could get it, you know, get me in and out in a week. I mean, you can see some fiberglass behind here. But, uh, let me make sure I'm not seeing nothing else. Uh, I think that's the only place that, that goddamn it shit. The mirror got bumped, but uh, I can't tell if that's bugs or what, but the mirror did get, get bumped. Yeah, that's who, that's who got me. So I'm gonna, uh, not only that, man, I'm gonna tell you what kind of night I'm having. I think I got a, ain't no thing. I got an air leak back here. I got a, I got to take this tie to the shop in the morning. That rock has punctured all the way through the tire. That's a rock. That's, that's not even a nail. I was just driving over rocks. So this is where he made impact with me at 
uh, different than like a trailer like this. It would have had more damage, but this is actually softer. And so, uh, fortunately, it's, it's a flatbed or kind of kind of stole a trailer that hit mine. Man, boy, you can't make this stuff up. Lone Mountain, yum. <laughs> Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Like I said, from this angle, you see where he, where that little piece I just showed you, you can almost see the, the square of it. The, it's this wide, but it started sliding, and then it just stopped and hit here. So hopefully that's all the damage. Uh. I am not too much worried about the mirror covers because I'm eventually going to put some chrome ones on here. I think this is dirt. I'm going to get it washed. If it's not dirt, then I'll get it fixed. Uh, yep. Yeah, man. So, hey, it's another day in trucking, man. I'm not going to let my spirit get down over it. Me and old Kentworth right here, we're going to make it do what it do. All right, so wrapping up that night, I'm going to go, I'm going to get y'all a lowdown of what's going on. So I've talked to the other guys insurance. They've uh, accepted responsibility over the phone at least. And we, we, we'll see how that works. But uh, I'm waiting on the, a call from the adjuster. I've called them. They said that that was uh, yesterday around noon uh, again because I've been calling them and they like uh, you know we'll get back with you within 24 hours. So I'm gonna hit them first thing in the morning and let them know, man. Y'all got to get the ball rolling because I need this fixed ASAP. So visually looking at it, man, you, it looks like it's just this. Maybe you can bang it out, put some putty on it, but that's not the case. When it when it hit, it, it warped this whole this whole piece. And then over here, this this is started to bow out. So when they, they looked at it, they said, Zeke Dog, we gotta replace this whole panel. So all the rivets, all the rivets up here, all these rivets got to come out uh, I think I think this piece of be replaced this will be replaced and this will be replaced all because of this he's been bad off hitting my hitting my door they could have just snatched the door off and put another door on but he, he hit he hit me right here real bad spot to get hit man Trying to get all the, all the angles, man. Yeah, you can even see the, the glue coming loose on here. And uh, on top of that, I gotta take everything out of my truck when I drop it off. And when I say everything, I mean everything, everything, everything. I gotta take the bed out. I gotta take all my clothes out. I gotta take everything up under the bunk out. I gotta basically move out of my truck because they gotta disassemble it from the inside. They gotta remove the bed. They gotta remove everything in order to fix my truck. So, I got the quote. Quote is roughly 11,000 dollars eleven thousand dollars on top of that he's telling me it's gonna take at least two weeks so what i'm needing from the insurance company is i need you to fit what fix white light i need white light to fix back to the original specs i need two weeks worth of pay while i'm down to compensate me for me not working and the, the truck is down longer, I need more money. 
So that's what I need from them, man. And uh, I'm putting on blast. The owner of the company gave me a call. And, and, and you know, I don't want y'all to think I'm, I'm, I'm racist in no kind of way. But don't call me speaking that derpa derpa stuff and then you insulting me. Fool tried to offer me $7,000. $7,000? Man, that's insane! Get up out of here, man. Dude, that's disrespectful. Offer me $7,000. Man, if you don't go on somewhere with that, I said, nah, fella. If you ain't trying to offer me $25,000 or up, you keep it rolling. Oh, man, that's it, it, too much for that little dent. Listen, man, your guy hit me. My truck wasn't bothering nobody. So either you want to run me that cash or run it through your insurance. Either way, you got to pay. Zeke Dow ain't, 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 ain't trying to disrespect nobody. Culture, sexual orientation, none of it. So I, that ain't the issue. The issue is I don't care where you come from, it's disrespectful. Man, Ray got my blood pressure up. I'm like, man, I don't even have no blood pressure problem. But hey, you had me hot then, so I'm like going through the process of that. And I'm gonna tell you a good thing about my insurance company. 10-4 truck insurance. Hey, they said Z Dog, if you got any problems, give us a call. Chitty chitty bang bang, just like that. And if you give 10-4 truck a call, tell them Z Dog sent you because they'll hook you up with a real good rate. If you need truck insurance, I'm just letting you know who I use. Take it how you want to take it. Don't be mad at me for for. for for me telling you stuff work. Just like, it's some, it's some more stuff on the truck that, that I'm finna hit on, and I'm gonna let you know, hey, don't buy this, don't do this. Uh, one of them, the headlights. If you notice, the LED light ain't working. It works for the turn signal, but it don't work for the daytime running light. This is the second one that went out. They sent me a new one within the first 30 days of it going out. Now it's past the, the freaking warranty, and you can't find them anymore. They discontinue making these, this model, because apparently it's a thousand left-hand side headlights for sale, and ain't no right-hand headlights for sale because all the right, the, the, uh, the driver side LED uh, daytime running light is going out. So don't buy these if you have. If you if you find these. The ones I made my video on, don't buy them. Oh, don't worry. Zeke Dog coming with something. Hold your horses. These finna get pulled out real soon. Daytime running lights aren't a requirement. This is an add-on, and I don't have to be running my daytime running lights. Everything else works. So I'm still in compliance with DOT and everything, but man, man, they got me hot. I'm like, it's always this side. It's either the mirror, this mirror, the side of the truck. Man, folks always hit me. I'm in the bed sleep. You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make it up. It's ugly. I ain't going to even lie. I can spot it. I spotted it on my truck about a quarter mile away. How ugly this look. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's real bad. It's real bad, it's real ugly. I had already set up my decals to get put on my truck. Had to cancel going to do that. Why? Can't put it on my truck when it's towed up. Make that make sense, man. Man, I ain't trying to go on no rant. I'm just telling you, man. This It's trucking, yeah, it's trucking, but if Things gonna happen. People gonna bump you. Your vehicle gonna get touched. You putting a hundred and thirty thousand miles on a vehicle every day. You parking in an area where people are swinging seventy-five feet a trailer next to you every day. 
it's bound to happen, man. Heck, I hit somebody as a rookie. But, you know, hey, I did it. My bad, I'm sorry. What 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 uh TMC didn't do when I hit old boy was call him up and say, hey man, let me let me just give you a couple thousand dollars. It ain't that bad. No. They wrote him that check. I know it. I, I know for sure that they wrote him that check. You know, gotta take the good with the bad, man. It's sad. She dirty right now. I'm uh I'm still getting my truck clean when I can, man. It's been raining so much lately. But I just wanted to give y'all an update. Y'all make y'all make it even spot it in a couple scenes from a uh, more recent video. Seeing that, oh, there you go right there. I saw, I said, but you know what? I ain't know if I wanted to put the video out, if I wanted to hold up on it. I said, it's finna be seen anyway. I'm gonna go on and put it out. It is what it is, man. We'll go from there, man. So, like I said, man, if you need if you need you a truck, man, give Lone Mountain a call. They Zeke Dog approved. Tell them Zeke Dog sent you. So, man, appreciate y'all checking out these videos, man. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. And join the dog team. So, until the next time, baby, keep it trucking.